Only three more sleeps to go until the World Cup. Oh, whoa. Are we excited? It's oh, like mate. Christmas Eve, isn't it? Yeah, literally. Well, not, re- not really. I mean, four more sleeps until the decent games. I mean, opening game, Japan against Russia. I mean, the Japanese have sorted that right out, haven't they? Smart. Yeah. They dictate when they play the games, but I mean, Russia. Russia have got into the World Cup because I think it was Belgium, Romania, and Spain, and Spain all played ineligible players. In, all played ineligible players, and they're getting hosed left, right, and centre. They've come through the back door. No better, no better way to come through. <laughs> is that how you, you roll at home? Is it? The... Well, just yeah. Like you come through the back door. It's obviously. I just go straight to the front door in my house. Yeah, mate. but you get caught. Caught doing what? Well, <laughs> I don't know, mate. <laughs> you come to the back door. That's like you know the best way. Yeah, there's some massive games out there over the weekend. Um, biggest one being England Tonga. Where, what? <laughs> so you mentioned Russia Japan. Not particularly interested in that one. I am really. You are? Yeah, Go I've on. been. I've been waiting for the World Cup for, for ages to come round. It's come round. So I'll be in Scotland um, hunting. I don't know what I'm hunting. Um, I don't know if people like hunting. We'll find out if I like hunting. But I'll be up there watching it. I'm looking, mate. It's the opener. It's like the Olympics. You watch the opener, don't you? Or not? You're not feeling it. Japan, Japan, Russia, isn't it? I mean, reality is, yeah, it'd be great to see the open ceremony. You, I think you always want a like a decent big game in there. Like, why don't Japan play Scotland and get the upset out of the way? Oh, areas. Think because they want them last up yeah, after yeah, a four yeah. day turnaround yeah. to increase their chances of winning. Smart. So, which game are you looking forward to most opening weekend? Um, oh, the big game, obviously. Well, there's two huge games, uh, really, in, in terms of dictating how the pool stages go. New Zealand, South Africa. Uh, being one, both of those teams are coming out of the group whichever way. But New Zealand are under a lot of pressure, I think, because people are looking at them as they had their biggest ever defeat to Australia a few weeks ago. Um, they've struggled against South Africa over time, over the last couple of years. Um, and if South Africa lose that, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, because uh, they'll just go through and, and qualify and then they'll be on the perceived easier half of the draw. No. New Zealand have to win it um, because they're defending champions. Uh, over the last two tournaments and people are looking at them to make a statement but the other big game obviously is um, Ireland dominating Scotland No team has won the World Cup having lost a pool game does that matter? In- oh mate you bring it you absolutely bring it These are stats that Andy Rowe just doesn't bring No so no team's won it having lost their first game Having lost a pool game So Joel Stransky said last week that he didn't think it really mattered I'm kind of with him a little bit and that's an interesting fact that you said producer Tim that no team has ever lost a pool game and won the World Cup. That might happen this time round because either of them could win and either of them could go on to win the World Cup. So, I mean, it's interesting. A lot of people talking about New Zealand. And again, I don't know, I'm one of those. Um, I've seen vulnerabilities in their team probably for the first time in any World Cup that I've taken interest in and probably the two that they've won is not knowing, not knowing. How, how they're going to go? Uh, who's going to be on the wing for them? Their, their star players are usually wingers. Uh, Rico, I, I can't say his name. Rico Yuani. Yuani. Yuani on the wing uh, hasn't been in great form. Obviously, there's talk of Will Bowden Barrett step back up into ten. You know, Kieran Reid is apparently playing well according to Andy Rowe. But for me, New Zealand for the first time ever going into a World Cup, I cannot hand on heart say they're going to win it. I think they've lost their aura of invincibility. Uh, which, you know, you go back to the last couple of weeks. Everyone, 2015 World Cup, everyone was like, New Zealand can rock up, play how they want, they'll still win. They were that much better than anyone else. Um, you know, it's interesting, obviously, the South Africa game is the first one, and they're the team that have really tested them the most over the last couple of years and had the most success, beating them in New Zealand. Um, I know Ireland have beaten them a couple of times, but, yeah, I mean, you're not looking at that squad as an opposition player and going... Geez, I can't see how we're going to beat them. I think, you know, South Africa will be very confident going into the game. You know, they bring their blitz defence. And it's interesting, you know, it's a seismic shift going from Bowden Barrett's been your 10 all the way through to the Rugby Championship just gone changing that and putting Moanga there. So Jim's right, you know, you can see they're fallible. And I think the pressure's on them in the first game because of the expectation. Um, But whoever loses, it's not the end of the world, is it? Because they just go into... A semi-final. Uh, sorry, it's not the end of the world, is it? Because they go into a quarter-final, probably against uh, Ireland or Scotland. 
whichever way the other side of the group goes and then semi-final off you go the other big game of the opening weekend Ireland Scotland mate we just FaceTimed John Barkley we oh did. no sorry he FaceTimed us actually we were in Nando's just eating uh, basically as you can imagine copious amounts of carbohydrates salad 